Now today we are going to show you how to install Drupal 8 onto your Windows computer. It could work on also Mac operating systems. So first you are going to need to go to your browser and download WAMP, our base clamp server. And, and what we are going to download is WAMP for Windows and you use MAMP for Mac operating system. So after you have reached on the WAMP website, you will press on start using WAMP, 32 bit for 32 bit computers, 64 bit for 64 bit computers, because I have a 32 bit, I'm going to download on 32 bit. So now, after you have reached on it, you will download Microsoft, I'm pressing on that, download, for 32 bit computers you download this one. For 64, you download this one. Because I have a 32, I'll download this one. But because I already have it, I'm not going to download it. So you go back again. And then this time, you'll download directly. And it will count down and start downloading your one server application. I already have that, so I'll not download it. So now you're going to need to go on Drupal.org. And as you can realize that there's a little section over here for Drupal 8. So that's where you're going to click on this one. Drupal 8 is in better. Then you click on this picture, it says Drupal 8 Beta has been released and read the release notes. So now after doing all of that, then you can download Drupal latest version or you can download Drupal 8 Beta 1. For today we're going to download Drupal 8 Beta 1. After that then you download the zip file for Drupal 8. Because I already have that, I'm not going to finish the download. So now after that, I'm going to need you to go to your download school after downloading everything. And you install your Microsoft C Visual C++ first. Because I already installed it, I'm not going to install it again. And also, your WAMP server application. <laughs> You press yes, next, I accept, next, WAMP server, next. This is where your file for WAMP server will be saved, so you can browse or set it next, create a desktop icon, and next. I install it because I already have it, I'm not going to install it again. After doing all of that, then you're going to need to extract your Drupal 8 beta file and then you're going to so this file which is inside the Drupal 8 beta zip file you extract it into where you have saved your one folder and in that one folder www so as you can see i have already extracted and when you have extracted then you will have to rename it to whatever you want so now that's basically all the files you are going to need and the things so after that, you're going to need to start your one server application. Press yes. And wait for it. Then you have, should have seen that it's come, it has came down here. After doing that, then you start all services and it will turn green like this. When you're done with all of that, then you press on it. PHP my in admin because now you'll be creating your database for your app for your website 
So you go to go to you create new users and add user. This is where you'll type your username, which it could be anything, and also your username is going to be the same thing as your database name. And try to write it mostly in lowercase so, so that you don't get confused. So I'll write mine as Drupal. 8 B E and for your host you always select local and type your passwords which you will use after doing all of that all you need to do is just create a database with the same name and get our privileges this first box and go after doing all of that now, you have created your database and it's time when you can create your website. So, first, so now you create a new tab and in that new tab, you type in local host slash and your file name. As you can see, comes comes up on this really cool Drupal installation site. So on this side now, you um then you select your language, save and continue. Choose standard as a file profile installation profile and see if I continue. Yeah, and after that, you put in your database uh, um, settings which you have created before on PHP My Admin. So my database was Drupal. 8BE and your database username is the same thing as your database name. So now, after that, you need to type a password and save and continue. This might take out. This might take a while, so I'm going to skip this until you reach the installation, the configuration site. So, so now we are back and. We have finished installation and now we are at the configuration site. So this is where you'll write your site name. So mine will be Drupal A and your email address, which will automatically be selected down there. And under the site maintenance account, this is what you'll use to log into your site when you are logged out of it. So your username, which is whatever you want it to be. And your password. After that, then you'll select your country which you live in, you live in, and your time zone, which your country falls under. And then after doing all of that, you can select these boxes or whatever you want to do and then save and continue
this might take a while. So now as you see that your Drupal website has just been created and as you can see now, congratulations, you have installed and others from these basic, although this look far much better than Drupal 7, basic uh, things which comes normally which is your um, first web page, web page which you have used. Which have the basic search area, the add content area, and welcome to Drupal. There's some new cool stuff about it. So up here in the dashboard area, it's like a compilation of everything which you have instead of having it lined up all the way out here. You can just you know select this one, select this one, this one. So on the management, on the management, this is where you will find your content. Yes, where you will create your web pages, your structure to create structures, appearance which you can create your, you can which you can select your theme, themes, and extend which you put your plugins and those things, configurations and people, where you'll find a lot of people connected to this website, reports which you can find different reports and also there's a new thing on the report where you can see the version of your Drupal which you are using and help which will help you so after that then you are after that then you have over here this arrow which says you up and says you down which is quite very cool as you continue you can realize that on the shortcuts this is where you find your shortcuts so you can create a content shortcut any shortcut so and you still realize that you have the hard way. and under under your account name this is where you can view your profile edit your profile or log out of your profile this is this whole setting is quite quite very cool I can't so there's a next thing I'm gonna show you. If you want to put in your theme inside of your Drupal 8 file, you have to go where you save WAMP, www, and go into your Drupal 8 file. And under themes, that's where you save all your themes to it. And then you can select it on your website, manage appearance, and you'll see all of them. So now, core is where you'll find the basic core files for Drupal, over here, and sites, so you'll find your site setting, and your site files, over there, and that's basically everything with now Drupal 8. And there's a thing, you realize that it pushes over the web page right here instead of overlapping when you press the arrow. That is very developed, seeing very developed comparing to Drupal 7. So, thank you for watching my video. Bye.